the mechanisms that, that cells use to generate energy, for instance, uh, and use oxygen, respiration, each individual cell burns, basically burns glucose to produce energy. But as one ages, that process gets uh, uh, leaky and, and you get uh, reactive oxygen species get produced and those lead to inflammation. Uh, you, you don't have as much energy, so the repair systems uh, start to fall apart. So there's this general process of aging, right? And that is, impinges on, on everything that's going on in the cell, but the, the way PB2A comes in is it's this global regulator. So as long as it, so you have energy metabolism, you have meta metabolic synthesis of precursors, you have protein synthesis, you have all the, all the uh, sort of nuts and manufacturing that goes on in cells. But superimposed on that, and about half the genes that are in a cell are regulatory. We, Jeff was studying PP2A. He wasn't looking at neurodegenerative diseases in any way, shape, or form. Um, and, and once we discovered that PP2A was a regulator of tau, that's when the light started to and go we, off. we didn't discover that. That was discovered. Once we found really? out about it. The main guy that did it was uh, Iqbal. At, 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 on Staten Island, who, who's Dr. been... Dr. Khalid Iqbal. Yeah, and he, uh, he was the pioneer in, in... He studied tau, the tau protein. He's an expert on... and, and has, has spent his life working on Alzheimer's disease. I have come to Alzheimer's disease only very recently. Dr. Iqbal's the founder of the International Alzheimer's Conference. He's a big part of what we're doing. He's a, part of, he's a, he's a scientific advisor to Signum. Um, and and, and, and just, he did a study. We just published a, a paper with, with Dr. Iqbal showing EHT's ability to rescue the effects of hyperphosphorylated tau deficit. In a, in a, in in a, a mouse, in a rat model for Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's that he's disease. developed. And so there are two uh, uh, cytological cell things that you can see at, at autopsy in, in the brain of a person who has. Alzheimer's disease. But also in the brain of a football player that's died from CTE. Right, Not just right. somebody with Alzheimer's, but when they crack open a football player, let's say they cracked open Junior Seau's brain, they also saw what Jeff's about to describe. Right, so what you see is uh, these, these inclusions, they're, they're uh, aggregated uh, proteins that are in the neurons. Uh, that are that are associated with neurodegeneration. Neurofibrillary for, tangles, and they're called neurofibrillary tangles. They actually look like little tangles of protein that are that are not there in a healthy brain, and and they're very closely associated with the neurodegenerative process. Although, it, and and the, and they have this protein tau, and Dr. Iqbal and a lot of other people have studied that 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 is a uh, has been a clue to try to understand how uh, Alzheimer's works. Right. So and, I, and it turns out that, that this PP2A protein interacts with tau as, as Max has described. So that's putting, we, we could put that together with the work I had been doing on PP2A just in the laboratory with, without any regard for any disease at all. My work was on a modification of PP2A. So what they had what was known at the time and, and, and has been uh, established many, in many different laboratories is that the defect in tau is, is related to a defect in the regulation of PB2A. And what I discovered at Princeton was a, a key mechanism in the regulation of PB2A that, that's, that's defective in, turns out to be defective in Alzheimer's. So that's what seems to happen in, in neurodegenerative disease, in, in cancer, in, 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 uh, uh, in, in type 2 diabetes. You're, you're getting, your aging is the primary problem, right? The things are falling apart. You're, you're, you're not able to do things as well. But as long as you keep that regulatory network intact, you can keep functioning. You know, you're not functioning as well. You're degrading, but but you're still able to keep the whole thing together, and you don't get disease. You keep your connections. You still have your memory, right? But but when when you start to lose PB2A, which is the the big cop in the in the regulating everything, when that regulation goes goes starts to become compromised, then the whole thing falls apart, and then then all the the regulatory processes which used to 
to be working more or less in, 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 in an orchestrated way, and, and it's so complicated what's going on in just one cell. I can't, I can't emphasize that more. I don't think people realize how, how complicated uh, the, the biochemistry is that regulates things and, and that performs all these functions. Once that starts to fall apart, then you, then you're, you're, then you, you have cancer, you have, you have neurodegenerative disease, you have, you, you, you're, you're toast.